my focus this year is to follow the fun and to use my intuition and my body's wisdom to let me know what to choose, what to do, how to do it. Ending up with a viral infection in your lungs and having to take prednisone to kill it is when you've gone a little bit too far outside listening to your body's wisdom of when to stop. I have been working too hard, so I am going to take this week to get healthier and rest up. I will be doing some of my art, but I'm going through and getting rid of a lot of uh, mainstream tasks when it comes to marketing. So uh, you might be seeing some interesting changes in a while. I will still be making videos, but probably not in the stereotypical business kind of way. If you don't know me, I'm Linda Shin from lindoshin.net. I still have to say that because otherwise you don't know where to find me. I will be drawing out the design for a painting that I'm doing on four MDF panels. I'll be doing it in acrylics and it's kind of a carnation with some patterns on it. It's part of Artist Strong, uh, Carrie Brummer's 10-day art making challenge. And uh, I'm living by example, doing what I love, and showing you that you can do it too. So enjoy this, and if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, let me know. I sound a bit out of breath, because I am. My lungs are not cooperating and they're triggering my asthma, so that's why I sound like I run 10 kilometers or something like that, which I would never do unless something's chasing me. Now, let's get to the sketching out of the painting. Let's see if I can move some of these shadows away. Make it easier for you to see. Put your drinking glass where your painting water is. Something I still haven't learned to do every single time. I am going to start out. The flower will be in this area. And then we'll have a bud coming up here. I'm just using a regular old pencil. And if you hear the buzzing of my laptop, it's because I have a reference image on there that I'm sort of trying to use. I'm not doing it exactly as the reference. I never do. But it's good to have something to look at. You don't mind that scraping of the pencil. Just a rough outline of where I want the flower to be. I'm going to have a stalk here too. is really interested by the noise of this pencil. He's sitting under the tripod looking at what I'm doing. 
I know he's not a magical familiar, but who knows, he might be an art familiar. I enjoy doing florals sometimes, but I don't really do just any old flower. I want it to be different. So that's why I'm going to be using patterns on this one. And the center of this is just a jumbled mess of lines, so I'm just going to make some. And then do something with them later. Let's see what leaf here. A petal, <laughs> not leaf, petal. And then I want it to go all the way out beyond the edge. Side the edge of the board because that was what I had intended for this painting. Now the patterns will be inside the leaves, uh, inside the petals of the flower, and it's a pattern that is from a reference photo that Carrie shared in the challenge. I'm going to use primarily pinks and purples, some green, and I think a whitish background. I haven't quite decided yet, but as you can see, I didn't cover the panels with gesso. I just slightly went over them so the paint will, will adhere, and then I left some of the brush marks for some structural interest. So I'm going to add a photo of this to the end of the video so you can see it right way up. <laughs> and uh, I hope you'll continue to join me on the journey of creating this. I'm also doing the tarot drawings on the side. But it's a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time so I need projects to do in between so I don't get bored with my own project. That wouldn't be nice. But have a great week. I hope to have enough voice to make another video this week, but no promises with this lung condition. So I'm not that bad. I don't have a fever, anything like that. I'm just coughing, coughing a bit and <clears throat> I'm a bit, bit congested. That's all it is. No worries. I'm not dying. Oh, there's Thomas the flying cat jumping up in the win window. See if I can show him to you sitting there in the in the window looking out. So that's Thomas. And if I can swing the camera over, I'm going to show you Bonzo as well if you can see him in the dark bedroom. Let's see if he's visible. There he is. A black dog on a black bedspread might not be that easy to see, but he's there. Have a wonderful week, and remember to get in touch if you have any questions, feedback, suggestions, wishes of things I should do. 
if you want me to shoot a video about a certain thing or something like that. Until next time, bye bye.